Patient number three, now in a specialist isolation unit in St. Thomas's Hospital, brought here from Brighton after testing positive for novel coronavirus. Two others fell ill last week in York and are now being treated in Newcastle. This latest patient, however, contracted the virus in Asia but not in China. So tonight doctors were told to test people if they came in with symptoms and if they have been to China, Thailand, Japan, Republic of Korea, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, Malaysia or Macau. Uh, we will be advising people from, who've travelled from those countries in the last 14 days. If they get any of the symptoms compatible with the coronavirus, then they should self-isolate and uh, phone 111. The focus still remains on China, where 99 percent of the cases have been reported. The latest official figures are just under 600 people have died and more than 28,000 have been confirmed with the virus. Yet mathematical modeling shows there are likely to be more than 100,000 cases and many more deaths than reported. And today there was confusion over whether a Chinese doctor who was one of the first to alert others about the Wuhan virus back in December had himself died from the virus. Tributes were paid to him as a whistleblower, but Wuhan Hospital later said he was in a critical condition. Dr. Li Wenliang and several other medics were at the time accused by officials of scaremongering and were reprimanded by the police. These are febrile times, with China's ambassador to the UK hitting out at the rumours and panic over coronavirus. This was widely seen as a reference to the Foreign Office advice to Britons to leave China. Have you formally or informally approached the Foreign Office at any point over the past few days to ask them to review their request to British nationals to get out of China as soon as they can? Yes. Uh, we did tell them overreaction is not helpful. Uh, we asked them to take advice of uh, uh, WHO uh, to you know, uh, make a reasonable response. Uh, do not overreact. Indeed, the WHO specifically said when it declared a global public health emergency that there shouldn't be any travel or trade restrictions, and they too have clearly been irritated with the UK and other government responses. Yet there still remain questions about whether China reacted quickly enough to the outbreak and whether they could have prevented it spreading beyond Wuhan.